welcome to our Share Food live streaming this evening. I'm Lindy from Share Food. Yes, and we still have about 11 days to Chinese New Year. 要在这里呢，预祝大家呢新年快乐，万事如意啊，虎虎生威啊。Yes, uh, yes, next year is a year of tiger. Yeah, but uh, today, this evening, because of Chinese New Year, of course, I think our dishes will be much related to Chinese New Year. Okay, before I go on further, uh, I would like to invite a very, very special guest this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Let's welcome Chef Roland. Thank you so much. Us. Thank you, Lindy. Um, thank you. I'm Roland from Spice and Pants, and um, thank you for inviting us today. I would like to say Happy New Year to all our viewers over there and to the men. Nian Nian Jing Bu, Fa Ya Fa Da Cai. All right. Wow, Fa Da Cai. Yes, Chinese New Year really is approaching. Just like you were telling me, 11 days away. Around 11 days, yes. yeah. Chef Roland is no stranger to a lot of us, actually. So mm -hmm. I was sharing with Chef just now that actually I've seen his video way, way back in 2018. Wow. When I still have some hair, right, last time. <laughs> Yeah, so so today actually it's very it's really my honor to actually uh, together with him to host this live streaming. Mm. And today, uh, of course, uh, we are going to prepare really really good dishes, I presume. So, Chef uh, Roland, can you tell us actually how you usually celebrate your Chinese New Year? Well, Chinese New Year is actually a very big part of my life. Actually, mm. firstly, I, I love to entertain. I love my families over. I love having friends over. I love to cook for people, and I enjoy being with them. So um, pre-COVID, we always have big people, I mean, big crowds coming big over to gathering. our place, big gatherings. We yeah. have like 40 people coming over and I will need to wake up at 5 a.m. and start cooking until 11, 11 p.m. or 12 a.m. in the morning itself. But because of COVID, right, we will still have gathering, but in smaller groups. Yeah. Yes, the uh, new just came out. I just saw the press release just now. Uh, yeah. You are still able to celebrate a mm. Chinese New Year, but SNM is going to be as usual. Correct. Remains a group of five. So don't forget mm. uh, that you can only low hay in a group of five. Yeah. You can always do virtual, uh, virtual, virtual <laughs> low hay. That's what I yeah. to do. Uh. So today, we uh, this evening is very special. Mm. Other than actually demonstrating using our very own Oki oil here today, yes. today we're actually giving away quite a fair bit of Lucky Draw prizes. Wow. As you can see, uh, before the start of our show, everyone started like and share already. I don't even need to announce. <laughs> yes, three lucky participants will stand a chance to win Oki oil Chinese New Year hamper that's worth Forty dollars. Mm. Uh, the hamper is over there. Yes, each hamper is worth forty dollars, and winner will be announced at the end of the live show. So, what's the question this evening? Ah, uh? the question is: Okay, blended cooking oil is naturally cholesterol-free and lower in saturated fat content. True or false? I repeat, like and share and comment. Okay, blended cooking oil is naturally cholesterol-free and lower in saturated fat content, true or false? Mm. And yes, three lucky participants will stand a chance to win away the hamper. Yes. So don't worry if later on you actually uh, miss our first question because progressively as our program mm -hmm. uh, progress, we actually announce the question accordingly to our show. Yeah. yeah so without further ado, uh, what is the first dish this evening? All right. Um, today I'll be doing um, two dishes um, for this show. One is, of course, Pen Chai. Pen Chai is actually one of my favorite dish to do. Why is that so? Because it's very luxurious. And look, we have abalone inside there. We have mushroom. We have prawns. We have a lot of things that you, whatever you want to put inside there. All right. And the best part is you can serve that in one pot and it's just a one pot dish itself. All right. Save you a lot of time from cooking a lot of dishes or washing up. So this is one of the dishes that I'll be doing. The other one is a favorite with uh, small kids, actually. That's mm. a sweet and sour fish. Why fish? Because nian nian yu yu, right? Nian nian yu yu, yes. yes. And Abundance. Exactly. <laughs> and the fish is very beautiful. It's covered with a red colored tomato sauce, base Marvelous. sauce. And it's beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. No, I, I know pen thai is really a must-have mm. uh, during Chinese New Year. And I myself actually like pen thai a lot because I feel that it's actually a very tasty, savory, and of course, with lots of... Uh, Yes. <laughs> so I think today, uh, you want to go through, uh, should we start start right now? Okay, okay, okay. of course. Um, I will start by marinating my... Um, yeah. All right. I'll start by marinating my Chinese mushroom. I've rehydrated this. There's mm. five pieces um, over here. I just cut them into half. Okay. So just a little bit of uh, soy sauce. A little bit of For those of you who is watching sugar. online, if you've got some questions, the chef is here to answer yeah. a question as well, yeah? Right, so I'm just mixing all this up with a little bit of a sesame oil. 
So just uh, mix them up well, and then we'll just set them aside. For the exact me measurement, of course, you can go to Oki uh, website to have a look, as well as uh, Chef Food um, website to have a look also. All right? So if this, when this is done, we'll just set this aside and we'll marinate our chicken. Wow, Che Eng said, this life is so evil, making me hungry. Can't wait to learn new recipe. <laughs> and, and I tell you seriously, this is very, very easy. All right? Next, I have with me over here, um, chicken thai meat. I, I took off the skin because everybody wants to be healthy, right? And this is what we want also. So cut them into small pieces like this. Same thing, we just marinate them with a little bit of a soy sauce. All Chef, right? I've got a question. If yes. I don't want to use the boneless chicken, is that... Yes. Different kind of meats that I can use. Yes, you can use chicken breast or you can use sour roux also. Oh, it's, siu yuk la. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, because, yeah, I remember, yes. Yeah, because actually for pen thai, right, there's no hard rules as to what kind of ingredients you want to use. So normally I'll just get what my family likes or what my friend likes and then I just uh, put them all together. The important okay. thing is the sauce itself. And of course, what is important is we need to make this healthy. So from oil all the way to the ingredients that we use must be fresh and good. Right? Exactly, exactly. Yes. Of course, uh, like Justin, you mentioned, is of course to individual preference as well. Mm. Yeah, if you don't have uh, chicken or just happen you got siu yolk because uh, the uh, reunion dinner, kang hao you left over. Yes. <laughs> then you can use it, right? Yeah, exactly. You can use rose duck. I mean, I mean, part of the duck inside there. So not not to worry actually. Yeah, because everything will be just mixing everything in together, and then we'll be boiling them up also. But of course, we'll cook it. Um, separately also. I I've added corn flour to here. That's the beauty of pen thai actually. Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah, and do you know the history of pen thai? I actually, I don't know. <laughs> le. Yeah, I, I only know how to eat. La. Don't know the history. <laughs> okay, pen thai actually has a, there's a lot of version. Uh. Um, one of the version which I like the most uh, is this, this, this dish is actually um, came down from, or rather passed down from the Song Dynasty. You know Song Dynasty, right? For those who are not into Song Dynasty, Song Dynasty is the time where you have Yue Fei, the Jing Zhong Bao Guo, right? <laughs> so I believe that time they were just fighting the Jing, Jing soldiers, right? And um, part of the troop actually lost the battle itself and they went to hiding in Dong Guan, Shenzhen, that side. Mm. So in order to feed the, the I mean, the, the soldiers, right? They are very hungry. Ah. So what the general went about is they collected um, basing, wooden basing, and they knocked door to door to collect food and everything. They just piled onto the um, wooden basing itself and they served the soldiers with that. Oh, I yeah. see. Yeah, I and, see. Then, and then, of course, during that time, I don't believe there will be abalone, prawns and things <laughs> like that, right? But it's still something that warms their heart, all right, and make them remember it. So I think it's a good tradition for it to be passed down, actually. So we moderate along the way. Yes. Where we actually have all this goodness. Uh, yep. Yeah. So after the chicken, what, what is next? Okay, we'll just leave this aside and now uh -huh. we'll fry our egg tofu. Fry all right? the egg tofu. Yes. Mm. Why do we need to fry the egg tofu first, right? Um, basically, egg tofu we need to fry first because we need to get the moisture out so that later it will absorb the sauce much, much better. All right, it will be even tastier. Mm. Right? Can fry it like actually? Oh, oh yes, you can yeah. pan fry, but deep frying is a much faster and easier way. Oh, I see. Yeah, but of mm. course, if you would like to do pan frying, no problem, you can do it also. Ah. So I'll turn on the heat over here now first. Okay, open fire. Yeah, kai guo, open fire. <laughs> <laughs> it's like bang, 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 right? <laughs> All right, now, I'll, while this is heating out, I'd just like to say hello to our viewers, Celine, Celestine, Celestine, uh, Sharin, Sunny, um, Melvin, oh, got a question. Oh, got question. Right. What is the oh. question? Do you, do you recommend adding lemon to the chicken to make the meat more tender? Um, actually, no need. You just add corn flour can already. All right? Yeah. All right. So continue to like, share, and comment. Okay, blended cooking oil is naturally cholesterol-free mm. and lower in saturated fat content. Through or false? I think the answer is pretty straightforward. Huh? Eh? All right, can we air fry question. the can tofu we air fry instead? The tofu instead? Yes, you can just spray a little bit of oil on it and then air fry it at 160 degrees Celsius for about 8-10 minutes. It'll be also good. But to be very frank, we want the tofu skin to really puff up a little bit when it's really hot and then it contract down so that later when you cook it with the sauce, right, it, is, it can really absorb the sauce very, very well. And it's, I tell you, it's, it's really, really good. But of course, you don't have to add uh, deep fry or whatever thing, but that's just what I like. Okay? So um, do share and like. Thank you so much. Um, and let all your friends know about this. It's really wonderful to have you guys around. And today, our mm -hmm. star of the ingredient is none other than our... Dun, 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 our Oki blended oil. Yes. Are we using it right yes, now? Yes, we are using this mm. right now. 
So basically, there are a lot of goodness and benefits from Oki blended oil. Mm. It's actually a blend of a premium quality palm and colonial oil, and it's lower in saturated fat and naturally cholesterol free. Uh, basically, oil blended uh, also actually this oil actually blended oil actually carries a healthier healthier choice label yes. as well. Yeah, which is actually very important because right now we are going to healthy lifestyle. Yes. Yeah. Another strong point of this, Chef, you want to check with us? Yes. It has a very high spoke point. Mm. Why is that important? And in Asian cooking, uh, it is very important to use the right oil, right? Because we are normally cooking Asian cooking, right? From medium heat to all the way to super high heat, especially um, if you go to restaurant for tzu-cha, tzu-cha stall um, and things like that, if you want to have the wok hay, right? So that is very, very important. Um, to have a high smoke point, which means that your oil will not get burned, it will, it will look much better because if the oil is burned, your food will look a little bit darker yeah. and also give you this burnt taste. Yeah, mm. so this is definitely much better. So actually, selection of oil in our daily cooking or even actually when we actually host mm. a luncheon, even at home, it's actually very, very important because why? We have a wide selection, a wide variety of oil. Olive oil, palm yes. oil, uh, whatever oil yep. that you have. Yeah, you can't be using olive oil to, to deep fry, right? No, you yeah. can't. Yeah. <laughs> because different oil has different um, smoke points itself. Right, uh, so the one thing I like about Oki blended oil is that you can use it for um, deep frying, for stir frying. Is I, I think it's the perfect oil for Asian cooking, right? Mm, mm, yeah, mm, mm, it's mm. very versatile and uh, it's really smells so good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So today, yes, we are using currently right now we are using our Oki mm. blended cooking oil for our first dish for for pen thai. Why is that so today? Because the goodness of Oki blended oil is definitely lower in saturated fat and naturally cholesterol free. I think yes. that's also very important it as is. well. Yes. Yeah, to be to be actually health conscious while actually having a uh, deep fry or even you stir fry your your food. Yeah? Yes, mm? definitely. So right now the first step is to deep fry. Deep fry. All right, I, I'm not using too much oil over here, so it's more or less like a shallow fry thing. Continue to like and share, everyone. Yes. And of course, uh, do remember to answer the questions because this evening we are giving away three lucky winners. Three lucky winners will stand a chance to win our OK Oi Chinese New Year hamper that's worth $40. Yep. Wow. Now, we, we talk a little bit about Chinese uh, tradition and what normally I like to do, right? Um, you know, I a little bit like to talk about myself, sometimes a bit too much. Huh? So, <laughs> Like, like on, on, on um, Chinese New Year Day itself, mm. normally I have a, a, a group of relatives coming over. Mm. Sometimes I cook for about close to 40, 50 people That's what so. you mentioned, yeah. Yes. So, um, do I enjoy my time alone this New Year itself? Of course not. But I think it's a good time for me actually to rest and recharge a little bit, right? Everybody needs to be safe. Mm. And when everybody is safe, the government hopefully will open up to bigger uh, gatherings. I also and that's hope what I'm that every, for, right? I also hope for the day. Yeah. where we can have parties we, we will we will i mean like good faith in the government definitely this will be a day and i tell you singaporean you guys are the best because we are i think we are one of the most vaccinated country. nation mm. our country in the world itself, yes, yes, yes. right and i think it's, it's just a matter of time before we get all this done so chef have you bought all your chinese new ingredients for cooking um not all but most of it um why basically it's because um if you wait until the last minute to get it right, you might not get what you want. Oh, this one true. thing, yes. And secondly, mm. expensive. Yeah. So I prefer to buy and um, actually freeze them almost immediately. Now, if you want some tips on how to freeze your seafood, especially important thing is after you purchase your seafood, right? Don't go and wash them before you freeze them. All right. As it is, freeze it. All right. Only free. Only wash them before you actually cook them. So that's very important, huh? Well, this one I know. Yeah. Usually I go to the market and I buy, right? I will not wash it. Yes. Yeah, the fish I know, like, you know, you know, I will just leave it. Once the auntie give me put in a plastic bag, I'll just put it in the freezer. Yeah. So I've done it correctly. Correct. This is very important, yeah? Because a lot of people don't know about this. They wash the seafood first ah. and then maybe four days later, they take out from the freezer, their prawns, the prawns, the head starts to drop off and yes, things yes, like that. Yes, yeah. Yes, so yes. we don't, we... All these um, seafood, right, they have a natural um, a protection on their body itself. So once you wash it off, all right, you have to cook it already. So uh, my advice is don't wash it first, okay? So many true. Yes. <laughs> so many true, yes. <laughs> Continue to like and share and comment. Okay, blended cooking oil is naturally cholesterol-free and lower in saturated fat. 
content. True or false? Oh, there's one question. What's the difference between using a blended oil and canola oil for any oh, other oil oils to deep fry? No, um, I, I think basically it's about the smoke point itself. Uh, things like olive oil, for example, um, for simple stir fry pasta and stuff like that, you can do it. But if you want to have high heat, you can't use um, um, olive oil. It will burn easily and then your food will turn very black. And then as well as, um, I mean, it will have a very, very um, um, burnt taste to it actually, yeah. So right. Chef, I ask mm. you when you, actually before you did fry the tofu, right? Yes. Do you actually need to pet this tofu? You can, you can if you want to. De uh, definitely, I'll advise your pet, but normally for me, I don't. <laughs> I'm so used to all this already. <laughs> Pet it is just because you want to actually absorb more of the moisture, I guess. Yes, so they will not splatter that much. Lah. Yeah, mm. oh, that's the main reason. Correct, yeah. Mm. Well, I can see that the uh, uh, this tofu, right, it's really like a golden coin. Eh? Correct. Yeah. And, so, and this is also one of the reasons. Sometimes my, my families or, or friends will even ask me, hey, I don't see tofu in Pen Chai Wan, no. You, are you ngiao or not? Are you stingy yeah. because you don't want to put more... Um, <laughs> Um, I mean, more expensive ingredients inside. Uh, you uh, put use tofu. Uh, uh. I told them it's different, you know. I mean, it looks like golden coin. This is what yeah. we want, right? You want gold at your house. So we have something like this, golden coins, golden nuggets, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's actually a very good symbolic uh, mm. meaning to actually add on to our Chinese New Year inside. Yeah, so we have done our uh, tofu already. Yep. Yeah, continue like and share. If you just join in, Continue to like and share. And of course, today, if you actually answer our questions today, there will be, today, we are, we are giving away the Chinese New Hamper that's worth $40. Another question. How do we pat the tofu using oh, the paper? Just use a paper towel and then just lightly pat on it. Be very careful, don't break it apart. Huh? It's very um, soft. Yeah, it is very soft. Delicate. Yeah. So when you are frying tofu or cooking tofu itself, try not to stir. All right, only flip it back once. And when it's brown enough, just remove it immediately. Okay. Well, there's another Roland there. My family use Oki oil, healthy oil. Wow, thank you very much, Roland. <laughs> Roland knows Roland, right? <laughs> and shout out to Mr. Roland Wong. <laughs> Continue to support Oki, yeah? Yes. As you know, it's healthy, yeah? And suits our lifestyle as well. Definitely. Alright, so, so now next? we will fry our uh, chicken first. Mm. Put in our chicken. Mm. I haven't turned on the flame at this moment because the pot is hot enough at this moment, right? So we're going to have to do that. So it's basically just giving it a, a yep. little bit, it's, it's no need to be entirely cooked. Right? Don't have to. Um, yeah. I'll just cook this to approximately about 80% 80, 80 doneness, mm. right? Because end of the day, we want to assemble everything inside our clay pot mm. and then we still pour the sauce over mm -hmm. and then we need to turn back the heat on and, I mean, blend them or, or boil them all together again. Oh, mm. that's... That's actually, uh, to me, the first step seems to be rather easy. Yep. Actually, it's, it's really simple. Um, I mean, cooking is, is, is not really something that's difficult or, or, or daunting. Hence, um, with all the videos that we have come up with, right, I mean, we try to minimize um, using too many pots and pans, too mm. many washing around, and we try to make our cooking as healthy as possible. Um, and that's also um, why we partner with a um, brand like Oki. Yes. Yeah. Oh, there's another question here. Yes. Can this oil use for baking? Baking. This, this uh, particular one you, you meant? Yeah, it all depends on, on actually what kind of baking you are thinking of. Because most of the time, if you are making cookies and cakes, right, you'll be using butter. Ah. Right. But let's say, for example, uh, let's say, for example, if you are thinking of doing all those um, Chinese sun kueh and things like that, right? You can, of course, coat this after you steam the sun kueh. You can use this oki oil to coat it so they won't soft stick together. It's, it's okay. So, right? so, like what Chef mentioned, it really depends on what you are yep. really do, doing. This baking also can be a, a, a wide variety of uh, baking items that you're going mm -hmm. to do. Yeah. Sorry. Got one up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we, 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 we turn on a fire and like what yes. you mentioned, no need to be thoroughly cooked. Yep. Yeah? Just brown them a little on the outside. So using our OK blend blended cooking oil, it's mm. actually a blend of premium quality palm and uh, colonial oil. Yes. And like what just I mentioned, high smoke point. In yes. Chinese, you call it the Gao Wen Dian. Gao Wen Dian. Yes. Ah, so for those very cheap high smoke point, yeah. <laughs> I mean, okay. um, yeah, especially a lot of us at home, right? We want to try to um, 
duplicate what we eat in Sri with the wok here and things ah, like that. So this kind of oil is very important. Very... Don't use the wrong oil. Ah, okay, okay, and okay. of course, for baking, right, the key thing is to use a light flavored and high mm -hmm. smoking point. We can also use a Poki premium sunflower oil, which we'll be using later. So when this note right, during Chinese New Year, if you go out for dining, mm. be at a hawker center or the restaurant, do look out, uh, keep keep a look out on our OK blended cooking oil with the healthier toy symbol over yes. there, especially the tin over there. That's the one we are talking about, yeah? Our OK blended cooking oil, especially when you dine out during the Chinese New Year. Remember that if the store uses OK blended cooking oil, it's actually definitely a healthier choice. Definitely, yes. Wow, the chicken is, it's not, I can say it's not really done, yes. but uh, it's, that's what we want actually. Yes. Yeah. We just want to seal the outside so that later you'll still be very juicy. All right. So now we will fry our um, prawns first. Oh, so everything needs to seems to be pan fried, mm. and, and don't even need to wash your wok. Actually, no, no, no. We, yeah, we try to yeah. make this as simple as possible <laughs> for everyone, right? So same thing. Turn on the flame. I think everyone know uh, spice and pans actually like to introduce things that is actually you know fast, easy, yeah, tasty for family. Everything. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> because I mean, who who. Everybody enjoys a good food, right? But who likes to wash, right? Ah, uh, you are so right. Do you like to wash, Chef Roland? No. <laughs> you also doesn't like to wash. <laughs> I love to cook. I love to eat, but nah, never washing, never washing. So nobody, nobody likes to wash. Yeah. Yeah. So, That's quite common. Exactly. So, so what we're trying to achieve over here is, of course, we try to use everything. And this oil will be flavored also, right? Apart from the... Very nice um, smell and aroma coming up from the oki oil itself. When we fry the chicken, the chicken fats will actually um, infuse infuse into the oil. Same with the prawns also. Mm. So this will actually make it very, very nice. Yeah. Oh, okay. So same thing with the prawns. We don't overcook them also. Somewhere around the region of 70-80% done, you'll be okay. Right? I can smell the, uh, you mm. know, the, 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 the aroma of the, the, the prawns. Yeah, like what you said, I think it's coupled with just now, even the chicken yes. smell was also embedded inside yep. it, yeah. So once again, continue like and share and answer the question because uh, today we are giving away a three lucky uh, viewers prizes. Uh, our Chinese New Year Oki, Chinese New Year hamper that is worth $40. Mm. So the thing, the most important thing, right, for, for me, um, of course, um, Apart from using a good, healthy oil like Oki itself, ingredients also plays a very important part. Um, normally, right, when I do my purchasing of seafood, mm. most of the time, actually, um, I would like to go to all these, like, um, um, wet market. You like to go wet market? I like to go wet market, mm. sit down there, haggle a little bit, know where the food comes from. But, of course, supermarket like um, Seng Xiong, NTUC, or even Giant or Cold Storage, they also provide some very, very good um products seafood products yeah, over some, there so these, yeah. these days right the supermarket actually have a live seafood as well yes yes yeah. yes 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 mm. yeah so for those of you who actually don't have the time to go to the market in the morning mm. i think the next best choice is to actually visit the super, supermarket yes. who has actually all the live seafood choices yeah You're right so the prawns is done the let's just done. remove them put them aside first well, since mm. like I can do pan thai for the upcoming Chinese New Year. It's, it's very simple, seriously. It is very, very simple. And outside you buy, uh, wang kui le. Yeah, lo. <laughs> and to be frank, um, apart from the abalone, there's the most of, I mean, and the sea cucumber, there's a little bit more on the expensive side, right? Yeah. Otherwise, everything is really, really, really very, really. very affordable. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, now we drop two pieces of ginger in. Ginger. Yes, and we will fry the sea cucumber. Mm. All right? So the sea cucumber that I'm using is actually the... Um, frozen type. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, can we buy the just dry, dry, type. dry you type? can. If you have the time to, um, Wait for to it fry, to... yes, <laughs> right, from a small to grow it to a bigger one, definitely you can. Uh. But it takes a lot of effort. Uh. Yeah, it takes yeah a lot I of heard effort. my mother saying, don't know how come sometimes you soak it for quite a while, also cannot. You know why? You know? Because of oil. When you want to soak sea cucumber, right, the ah. important thing is that your water must be clean without any oil. Once the dry sea cucumber come in contact with the oil, it will never far. It will oh, never grow. Oh, so that's yeah. the reason it yes. never far. Yes, and you need cold water. You need to put it inside the fridge itself. Every 12 hours, you need to change the Something water like that, for yeah. at least 48 hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So it's uh, a lot of work. And mm. how about price-wise? Uh? Um, there's a lot of various different kind of um, sea cucumber in the market. There's mm. some as cheap as maybe $10 for a kilo to some as expensive as 
a few hundred dollars a kilo, especially for a dry type, right? Mm. So for me, normally, just, just to make things easier, right? Because I'll be cooking a lot of dishes and things like that. Normally, I'll just go for the frozen one. Mm. But if you can see from your screen over here, right? I'm using the thick one. They have the bamboo sea cucumber, which is um, very suitable for stir fry, but not so suitable for pen thai or um, even if you want to do this, a sea cucumber duck, yeah, right? Because yeah. the thinner it is, when you overcook it, right, or when you cook a little melt bit more, it will melt. Yeah, mm, right? Yeah. I know this because I love sea cucumber, yeah. but it's a bit pricey like, actually. Mm. Yeah, Chinese people eat still okay. Lah. This one is not the jia chang xiao cai, that kind exactly, of. Yeah. <laughs> you can't afford to have uh, sea cucumber every day. Yeah. So it's a frozen one more chewy, uh, Celestine is asking. Um, not really. Actually, if you like to have a firmer texture, uh, the one that you pow pow yourself or the one that you actually soak and, and grow it yourself, um, I use the word grow, uh, is actually better in texture itself. But in the market, wet market, as well as um, I mean supermarket itself, they do have those better ones. They call it the tiger cucumber or, or tiger sea cucumber that's thicker, um, thicker like, like what I'm using over here. So these are also pretty good, also pretty good. And it's pretty affordable. I think for this piece I purchased, it's like $17 sing. Oh, okay, yeah, So okay. It's, it's pretty all right. It's yeah, pretty, it's pretty reasonable, all right. yeah. yeah. Like and share, yes. Yes, do like and share, please. <laughs> Sharing is loving, huh? Yeah. Yes, uh, do share with your friends, uh, because why today? Who knows, you'll be the lucky winner who actually works away with the uh, Oki cooking oil mm. pamper that's worth for $40. Yep. All right, so well, is, is it, actually is it this done? is more or less done already. Normally, I'll just remove this, put it on another plate, and then I'll fry the mushroom. But mm. why not, right? We can actually put everything together and make it simpler. Chef, I've got a question. Uh. Yes. If happens that I do not have a big clay pot like yes. that at home, mm. uh, is there any uh, solution to it? Oh, yes. You can actually serve it um, inside a bigger bowl or using your steamboat um, kind of a pot and serve it also. Mm. But the thing is because the sauce tends to be a little bit thick, mm. so be very careful when you actually heat it up. Don't turn the heat up way too high, otherwise it will burn. Yeah. Mm. But I'll show you a solution to that in a while. Oh, okay, yep. great, 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 mm. great. Because sometimes I think small family might not have such a big clay pot. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Because and normally this clay pot, right, for me is like when my families um actually join us for dinner. Mm. Yeah, because this will easily serve a person, I mean a group of eight to ten. Yeah, yeah. exactly, exactly, exactly. Uh, these days the family are usually quite small size. So actually um I myself don't even have such a big clay pot actually. Yeah. <laughs> even I want to use it maybe once a year only. All right. So now that we can smell the mushroom coming out mm, from yes, here, yes. we add in some garlic. Three cloves of garlic chopped around there. But of course if you like garlic you can put a little more. bit more. Yes, it's really up to you, huh? I'm a fan of garlic. La. Usually, I'll put lots and lots of garlic. Yeah. Do you recommend fresh water or salted water prawn? Che Eng asks. Salt water prawns. Yes. If you can get those wild one, best. If not, farm one will be fine too. Eh? Ah. Um, if you all want to buy prawns, I advise, my advice to you is start buying them right now. If you, especially when it gets closer next week, eh, it will be really expensive. I think right now, if you look at those Ankahe, right? Red Ankah. lake prawns, yeah, right? Yeah, those yeah, bigger yeah. ones, huh? Now, one kilo is maybe selling for approximately 40 bucks, 45 dollars. One kilo? Yes, but when it comes closer to Chinese New Year, it can go up to as high as 70 dollars or so. Wow. Yeah. So, take chef advice is to actually yeah. freeze it. La. Exactly. Don't Buy wash, ah, don't wash. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Okay, now we add in our liquid. Ryan was uh, complimenting you, saying that Chef Roland is a very good seafood. Uh. I started my oh, cooking yeah. journey learning <laughs> from him. He explained things clearly and well. Yeah, I agree. Just now I mentioned to him that actually I learned the Ha Jong Kai from him. Ha Jong Kai can also air fry also. You, can you can, you can, you can, you can. All right, I've just added in the brine from the sea asparagus as well as the um, um, abalone, right? Mm. A lot of people, sometimes they will say that, oh, this have a lot of chemical, don't use... Actually, if you look in the ingredients, right, it's only salt and water. Uh -huh. And they are very, very sweet. Yes. Most of the time, if I'm not cooking pen chai, right, the... the the brine from it, right? I will use it to make porridge or I will use it to make soup. Yes. So don't waste all this. This is really delicious and nice. Oh, that's what I mm. do also. If you put it in the... Do, do porridge, uh, wow, the taste is yeah, delicious. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, very nice. All right, I'll be adding in one liter of water too. We just let this boil away for approximately 15 minutes or so. Mm, 15 mm. minutes or so. Right, so once again, uh, today, if you're wondering what you just join us, welcome. All right, uh, continue to like and share and comment because today we are giving away really, really good prize. And of course, right now, Chef is using our Oki blended oil, who is actually have a blend of premium quality palm 
and uh, canola oil as well as it's lower in saturated fat and natural naturally cholesterol free yes so now what we need to do right as you can see from my clay pot over here actually i've laid them down with cabbages all right um this will help prevent the sauce from burning actually because when you actually um boil this up right this will actually soften and give up liquid also mm -hmm. so this will help prevent otherwise if you want to use uh, cabbage over here you can always buy those like uh, bamboo netting mm. uh, but i advise you can yeah i think it's for healthier choice I think exactly and then it tastes really good yeah yeah, yeah. because it's sweet as well it is it yeah. is it is it is yeah. so while waiting for the broth we just uh lay down our tofu first in fact i think uh place. vegetable you can cook Put quite a fair bit because after cooking you will actually string quite a you fair bit. You are right. You yeah? are right. And they cook very easily. Yes. Yeah. So today, how many how many slices of tofu you use actually? Um, I use two row actually. You use two yeah. row. Uh, so if you like more, of course you can. Yes. Actually, the the good thing about Pin Thai right is whatever ingredients you want to use right, you can actually use them no problem at all. If you like to have more abalone, please feel free to do so. If you want to use uh, lobster in place of prawns, please feel free to do so. But do invite me if you're using lobsters. I would love to go over to your house <laughs> and share your food. Yeah, a question from Iris. Can we fry all the ingredients few days earlier and just assemble them on the renewal day? You can. I would not advise a few days earlier, but day one day earlier is fine. Yeah. But not for seafood. Seafood, please do it on the same day itself. Mm. Uh, otherwise, it will become... Too tired. Yeah, 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 the case, yeah, the sweetness yeah, will yeah. not be there anymore. Yeah. So if you want to know more about this or you actually want to have the recipe of what Chef Roland has uh, is doing right now, don't worry. Later on at the end of the show, the recipe will be actually uh the recipe link will be posted uh in the live streaming hmm. show as well. So don't worry, yeah. Okay, so Chef is right now doing so-called a little bit of plating first. Yes. Right? Yeah, because Pen Thai, as you can see, if you buy even those ready-made Pen Thai, they will all be very nicely decorated. Mm. Okay, once again, uh, like and share and comment. OK Blended Cooking Oil is naturally cholesterol-free and lower in saturated fat content. True or false? Very naturally. Uh, you see, everybody, you can copy answer also, uh, I think. Because uh. <laughs> yeah, uh, this, this one, not, not closed book one. Uh, it's open book. Everybody know the answer. <laughs> yeah. And yes, if you are lucky enough uh, to be one of the three winners, yeah, today our this uh, OK is our proud sponsor of the Chinese New Year hamper that's worth $40. Yep. And yes, winners will be announced at the end of the live show. So keep tuned, stay with us because we are going to announce the lucky winner later at the end of the show. Okay. And today, don't forget that uh, we are having three uh, questions. So you might you actually triple your chance of winning. Uh, yeah. Mm. Yep. Okay. So here goes the prawns. All right. Let's put this aside. And once again, when you dine out during Chinese New Year, remember to choose the restaurant or stalls that use healthier choice cooking oil like our Oki oil. Over there, as you can see. See asparagus? Yeah. So all this canned food, they actually cooked already. Um, the reason I'm not putting inside the broth to cook here again is because if you cook them for too long, right, they will be very chewy, like mm. rubber band. Mm, so mm, this mm, is not mm. something that we want. Mm. So we put them in. Mm. And... Uh, Baby abalone. I'm using baby abalone over here. Mm -hmm. But of course, I mean, you all can use whatever abalone that you want. Mm. Big ones, small ones, it's really up to your personal preference. So if you have a bigger budget or you have a very big bonus, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so by all means. Yes, yeah. use those single one, one piece in one can one. <laughs> right? and those do, big ones, big ones. Yeah, do remember yeah. to invite me if you do so. <laughs> Uh, and you can just not like what Chef mentioned, you can put uh, lobster, la, a crab, la, yeah. Yeah, by all means. Uh, yeah. All right. right now that this is boiling already, we'll add in our carrots. Mm. This is also to give this soup uh, or broth a uh, natural sweetness. Mm. I think add ons to the colors as well because carrot is red. Yes. Yeah. Now we'll place some um, nice broccoli in the center. Broccoli. Yes. So pen thai, not only that it's really appetizing, at the same time, I think it's also very colorful. It is, yeah. Mm. And the best part is that, I mean, for this, right, one dish serve all, right? Yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. And frankly, if I look at it today, you don't really need to spend a lot of money uh, to buy the pen thai, which quite can be really quite um, expensive these days. Uh. It is. Mm. I think pen thai on the outside, right, if you were to go to a decent... Um, 
ซิสฮาสตอร์อีเวนต์รีสอร์ทไหนมินิมัมเอ็ดยี่ดอลลาร์สปอนพอตมินิมัมมินิมัมมินิมัมมินิมัมแอนด์มีบีดูอีเวนต์แกแอปเปิลอมีโอเค to continue to like and share and comment the answer and yes need to make space That's for me, yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, because I'm very greedy. Every time I like to pile everything together. Yeah. Oh. So, so I need you... to make space, yes, for the sea cucumber to come in. Oh, I see, yeah. I see, I see. Okay. No, don't worry. A chef will squeeze in. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right, another question. Hello, mm. chef. The abalone water can use for boiling soup. Yes, just you can. Yeah. Yes, you can. Now we add in some. Um, I know some, sauce. some, some, some people will say it's soon got a lot of chemical throw away. It's actually just yeah. salt and water, yeah. yeah. And you, you know, canned food, right? They actually act like a pressure cooker because they are sealed first, and then they are they are going through a. I mean, if you have been to a canning factory before, right? Mm. The can actually goes through a very high heat, steaming heat. Mm. So everything is sterilized inside there, and it's like a pressure cooking, bringing out all the goodness that's within the the yeah. the pot itself, or rather the the can itself. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, this is the oyster sauce. Yes, oyster sauce. Mm. So don't worry. Uh, I actually, I myself, I I do use the 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 the, the soup inside lah, the can. Yeah. A bit of dark soy sauce just to make the, the color. coloring. Yes, the coloring to make it uh, look a little bit better. A bit dark. Yes. Yeah. Mm. So of course, I think. Uh, today I think chef didn't really go through how many so-called mm. tablespoon that you need to put. Yep. I think, ah uh, yeah, this is creative lah. Of course, to your <laughs> Uh, own preference as well. Yeah. If you're someone who likes it to be a little bit salty, yeah, yep. a little bit more. Yeah, always, always try first before you add in more and more. Mm. I mean, uh, salt or, or any sodium kind of uh, products. Yep. Yeah. Oh, and next question: Do we need to Ooh. skim the bubbles? No need. For for this dish, right? You don't have to. Normally, when you skim the side, right? It's normally when you cook um, raw meat. And then the blood, the scums that's coming up from the mm. raw meat itself or from the bones, then you need to scum. Uh, I mean, skim it. Otherwise, for this, no, no, no problem. Yeah, no. there's no blood, no nothing inside yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's pretty fine. It's quite, yeah. it's, it's very clean broth. It actually. is. Yeah, it yeah. is. Okay. Okay. We, I think we'll just remove this the sea cucumber. This is practically the quite the last steps. It is. Yeah. We just yeah. the last thing that we need to do actually is just to um, thicken it up and plate up the rest, mm. and then that's it. Okay. Yeah. Wow, this pan thai looks really easy to do. Very, and very easy. Really, really, and very, very easy. People thought that you have actually, you know, spent a lot of effort. No, actually, no. it's quite yeah. easy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if if I want to make this difficult, uh, that's mm. always a um, ways to do so. So because to be very frank, if you were to go to a restaurant, all this right, they will cook everything separately. Mm. Right, they will roast the duck separately, they will roast the chicken separately, and so on and so forth. Uh. But at home, we try to make things as easy as possible. Mm. So this is what we want to do. <laughs> oh, once again, when you actually dine out during Chinese New Year, do remember to choose the restaurants, you know, or even stores that actually use our healthier choice cooking oil, yes. like our Oki oil, yes. yeah, which is right beside Chef. Just now we mentioned the goodness of this is definitely high smoking point, of course. Uh, mm -hmm. naturally, that's a cholesterol free, yeah. Yes, it is very important. That's actually, the, that's yeah. the tin over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is very important that we yes. actually go for um, healthier food. Yeah, because nowadays, right, um, we, we we tend to think that I mean, every one of us we want to be fit, we want to um, be as long as possible with our loved ones, also, right? So this is something that we want to do. Look out for all this uh, healthier food logo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which right? uh, our this uh, okay blended cooking on has that healthy logo, yes. healthier choice logo, actually. Yep. Yeah. So sometimes when you actually eat out, you will notice, hey, the the food store uncle is using this tin. Then you find, oh, this uncle Dong Huo yes. is using the correct oil, yeah, the better oil. Yeah. So you can buy from this store. And I think it is also very important that um for us um as yeah. especially consumers, right? Mm. You pay so much, of course, you want something healthier, right? Uh, these I mean, days, ah, yeah. uh, is pretty expensive when you eat, eat out. Uh. Yep. Yeah, even you go to food court la worker center is getting true, pretty true. uh expensive these yeah. days. Yeah. I mean it's best if you can just watch Spice and Pants video. We'll be there <laughs> to teach you how to how to make 
Good food at good prices. <laughs> Chef Roland is definitely correct. Uh, yeah. Actually, uh, you know, uh, other than, you know, I'm sure he has a lot of fans, including the housewife, <laughs> la, 姐姐妹妹, la. you know, your, your fans also include my son. My son is only 14 years old. Oh, thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, and he said that he has been, he said, you're right, bro. <laughs> Just like he texts me, no, Chef Roland is very pro, no? I said, you know him, uh? yeah, I sub him. <laughs> <laughs> sub me, thank you, sub thank you, sub you, you. Sub your YouTube channel. Thank you, thank That's you, the way you. how teenager talks, you know? Yeah. I sub him. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I, I, I mean, for, for me, right, I, I always think that it's very important to share um, what you know with your friends, um, I mean, with whoever wants to learn about it, right? Um, I always feel proud uh, and I always feel very happy when people come up to me and say, hey, hi, Roland, um, I use your recipe and it tastes good and my family really like it. So if you happen to see me, right, in your neighborhoods, come and say hi to me. Let's take a picture together, all right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I think Chef Roland knows the uh, pain points, uh, especially yep. these days when we need to work, you know, and sometimes uh, need to juggle work and family. So we're looking for you know easy to cook and of course healthy choice food to cook for mm. the family. Actually, I never know that pan thai is like so easy leh. It is Until very today. simple. Actually, it is yeah. very simple. Yeah, we go Yes. So what I did is um, I actually added in a cornstarch solution. Mm. Now, how thick or how thin you want this to be is really up to you. I'm not making this very thick, ah. Uh. Right, um, it's a little bit liquidy around mm. right now because we will be boiling this again. If I make this too thick, right, then it will burn too easily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so just turn off the flame from here. We just need to transfer the sauce into okay, there. Great. All right. So just now, chef also shared with us a little tip is remember not necessary to make it very thick. Yes. Uh, because if not, you'll make the whole stewing even tougher. Actually, yep. yeah. And remember, most of these are really cooked already, so mm -hmm. yeah, we don't really have to cook this for a long time. Wow. Questions. Can I don't put silk cucumber can. or I, <laughs> or replace? Yes, can. Can you can put whatever you want or whatever you don't want can just replace. Whatever you want, whatever you don't want. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> whatever you see in the fridge, whatever left over last last night. <laughs> yeah. And one thing, right, if you were to notice, uh, I mean, nowadays when it comes very close to New Year, right? Um, especially when you want to book a table out to, to eat and things like that, right? There's hardly a chance now where you want to, they will allow you to change the recipe. They will ask you to buy set A, set B, set C, or set E, whatever, right? So that's also why uh, most of the time I really prefer to eat at home, right? Because then we can really cook the things that we like to eat, um, how we want the taste to be. And mm. to be frank, all these are very simple. Seriously, it's, it's like super simple. You have seen me do this, right? Um, how long will it take me? I think it's like 7.30, or oh, maybe 30 minutes, 35 minutes to cook this dish. Mm, 30 right? minutes, about, yeah. uh, around there? Around yeah? 30 minutes, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, just now, did we skip a question? How long do you boil? 15 minutes or so. Yeah, how, how yeah. long? long uh, 15 minutes for yep. the broth, for the broth. Yep. 15 minutes, yeah. 15 minutes. Yeah, 15 minutes, yeah. All right. So here you have... This is a final... Not completion. yet, we still not, need not to... Yet. Yes, we need to put the cover lid on ah. and then we need to let this come to boil. Remember, the prawns and the meat is only about 70-80% done. Okay, okay, okay. So we need to, one, two, yes, this is the one. So what type of fire do we actually... Um, medium low heat or medium, medium low. heat. Yeah, medium mm. low or medium heat. Will be okay. Fine. Put the lid on. And put the lid on, yes. 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 Wow. Almost, almost yes, there. Yes, almost there already. Let me just clean this place up a little bit. All right, once again, uh, continue to like and share and comment. Oki blended cooking oil is naturally cholesterol-free and lower in saturated fat content. True or false? Uh, comment your answers at the comment box over there. This is our first question, just our first question. And three lucky participants will actually stand a chance to win today. Look at the camera over there. Ah, it's our Oki Oil Chinese New Hamper that's worth $40. And the three winners will be announced at the end of the live show. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's our very nice uh, hamper worth $40. Uh, once you have this, the lucky winner, well, no need to buy already for the next maybe two months, three months. Yeah. I think inside got three, at least three, three cooking oil over there. Yeah. And remember, when you're dining during Chinese New Year, do look out for stalls or restaurants that actually have our this healthier choice, okay blended cooking oil tin over there. Mm. Okay? Remember that, yes. If there's any further question that you have, please feel is it okay to use frozen prawns instead of fresh prawns? Yes, you can, no problem. Uh no problem. Yes. Yes. How much does it cost? Uh how much spice and pens, how much does this cost? <laughs> 
if you ask me about my value, I, uh, <laughs> uh, um, I, I don't know really how to answer that. So, maybe yeah. he's asking how much the oil is. The right? oil, yeah, oil costs. Oil, yeah. yeah, I think they have got different sizes. Yeah, different yeah, sizes. Different. different sizes. They have various different um, um oil. Also, they have the canola oil. They have the soybean oil. Yeah. They have the blended oil. So it depends on what you look out for. Yeah. Um, there's various various different prices actually. Yeah. Oh, this okay. dish. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. So for this dish itself, let me let me just do a rough calculation. Uh. the sea cucumber which I use is the good one, the tiger one. Uh. the tiger type of sea cucumber. That is about seventeen dollars. The abalone is about seventeen dollars. That's thirty four. The sea asparagus is about four dollars. Thirty four thirty. 34 plus another four, that's 38 dollars. The prawns 10 pieces, approximately four dollars, 42 dollars. The veg is like two dollars, 42. I think it's less than 50 bucks, less than 50 bucks, less than 50 yes. bucks. Wow, 50 10, 10, yeah. but less of course, if your budget bucks. allows you, you can go all the way to put it 100 lah, of course, or even 200 dollars. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, 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 yes. so I think it's really up to you. Wow, yes, I love Chef Roland recipe, it makes our cooking fast and easy. And so, today, if you like the recipe by Chef Roland, don't worry, he's not selfish not to give you, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Because later on, we'll be actually highlighting the recipe hmm. link uh, in the in the video as well. Yes. So keep a look out for it, yeah? Alright, so we are... Almost, almost. Almost, yeah, almost, yeah. Uh, almost, 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 almost yeah, done. Almost. Yeah. So and after this, we'll be doing our sweet and sour fish. Mm. Alright, um, it's a favourite among kids. Adults, adults like me also, I love it also because it's tangy, it's sweet and it's crispy and it looks beautiful, right? Um, like what I said just now, every new year we must have fish. Right, so you, there's various ways of doing fi or cooking fish. Um, what are your favorite ways to cook a fish? Fish, I, I like steamed fish. Steamed fish is yeah. good, yes, yeah. yes. I like euro meat and also. Okay, <laughs> uh, steamed fish is very nice, of course. But for New Year, right? Um, as a new, I mean, euro meat and also very, very good also. But for New Year, normally we like to serve a whole fish. Ah, yes. Right, you told you way ma. So right now you told you way ma. So that's something that we'll be doing in a while. Ah. All right, and I'm going to show you how to make this dish in a very, very I personally think that it's quite an easy way mm -hmm. to do it, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I will not be deep frying, I'll be doing shallow frying also. Mm -hmm. So later you can see what kind of what kind of prawns are used. Um, I actually wanted to get tiger prawns, but I went to the market way too early, so the stock haven't come in yet. So actually I just got grey prawns today. Yeah. Uh, mm. I, I think actually, uh, I mean, of course, if you're able to get bigger prawns, I yes. think it's definitely more suitable for a pen type. But I mean, yeah, event don't have, I mean, Definitely, yeah. it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's can be done as well. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And the, the thing is that y'all can always um like what we said just now, right? You can always change the ingredients inside. You want to make it a little bit more um fancy. You can add in clay fish. You can add in lobsters, uh, bigger abalone also, no problem. It's really up to you. Yeah, yes. you can even add in roast duck and things like that, right? Yes, yeah. that's right. Don't worry, the video will be online. So, uh, mm. if you actually want to sh even share with your friends or your families at a later time, you can always share the link, yeah? Yes. Mm. So, continue to like and share and comment. Yes, the next dish we are actually going to do is our sweet and sour fish. Fish, yes. While we're waiing for the yes. pan thai. We just wait for this to be mm. done. It's almost, we just need this to boil, uh, just to be safe. Because the remember the chicken and the the prawns we are not 100% cooked so we need it to be at boiling point yeah. yeah so just now we have used because like just now uh chef actually mentioned that uh under oki brand that's really quite a fair bit of different type of oil as well yes. and just now he has actually used the oki blended cooking mm. oil for that with a, a very high uh high smoke point yep, which, is, which is this yeah and of course a lot of goodness as well mm. uh this is natural cholesterol free uh lower in saturated fat and trans fat free as well yep. so later Later on, I think he will be using uh, another kind of oil for the second dish. And this is another oil called the Oki Premium Sunflower Oil. Yeah. You, you know what's good about this? Mm. This is really, um, I would say it's almost an all-rounder kind of oil. All you can use this even with salad. Oh. Yeah, just mix a little bit of lemon juice, add in a little bit of oh. salt, mix it to your favorite veg, mm. and then you can have salad. Mm. And this also has a very high um, smoke point also. Oh, so, and this is very neutral tasting. 
So this is very important for me later when I do the dish because the sauce that I want to make, I want it to be really sweet and tangy without uh, too much of an oil kind of taste inside there. So I saw that, that the colour of this premium sunflower oil, the colour is also very clear. Yes. Uh, I think there's a little slight difference yes. yeah, between the colour as well. Correct. Yeah. Oh yeah, there is. It's quite obvious actually. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so actually I think this, this uh, like what you mentioned, this is there all-rounder kind of oil, yes. uh, very suitable for our daily cooking, especially our Chinese cooking. Yes. So let's say if you are, you know, you think, yeah, I don't really cook that often. Uh, maybe the preference is to purchase this oil. Yes. Yeah, so that it's easier for, for you to actually change your dish every, yes. every day. You can use it for salad, for pasta and, and whatever. Yes, yeah. because it's excellent uh, cooking oil for daily cooking. Okay. So how's the pen tie? Ta-da! Ta right. It's wow. done. And yes, while we're actually waiting for to go on to the next dish, we are going to put up and release the next question. So what is the next question? Like and share and comment, Oki Premium Sunflower Oil has a clean taste and is naturally light in colour. True or false? Just like we mentioned already, the answer is very easy. La. Yes. Yes. Very, very simple. Very simple, yes. Uh, the rolling credits will be changed. Uh, we are no longer having these uh, questions. Like and share and comment. Oki Premium Sunflower Oil has a clean taste and is naturally light in colour. True or false? As usual, yes, this question will also uh, give you a chance and an opportunity to win the hamper, the Chinese New Year hamper by Oki that's worth $40 over there. Yeah. Okay, I'll just remove this so that we have more space to work. Oh, great. Mm. Later, we'll just go for the taste test. Oh, I, done, I right? can't wait for that. <laughs> I'm a bit hungry myself. Also, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, just remove this. Turn off the flame, of course. We have to be safe. That's why usually it's quite heavy. It is. The, yeah, the it clay is. pot itself is already heavy, quite mm. heavy duty. But just as Chef mentioned, if you do not have a big clay pot to play with, uh, mm. you can use your maybe your uh, hot pot that kind of uh, pot but of course remember uh, remember that to to keep the flame you need to open your eyes on the on the flame uh, don't don't burn it like because I think clay pot because it's thicker so the chance of getting burned is not so high yeah so yes the next dish that we're gonna have uh, by chef Roland as well yep yes our sweet and Sour fish, sea and sour fish. Correct. Yeah. So I have with me over here. Let me just clear this out so I have more space to play. So what fish? What 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 fish you are using today? I'm using red snapper. Of course, you can use other fish. Ah, no problem okay. At all. Example, uh, you can use this dish. A lot of people like to use uh, black pomfret also. You can use that also. You can use grouper if you want to. Any um salt water fish or even fresh water fish but mm. i mean we are in southeast asia right we are near the sea we can get um fresh salt water fish very easily so i advise salt water fish because salt water it has fish. less bone right less bone yeah, yeah and it's very easy you for, don't want to have a lot of bones for exactly. sweet and sour fish actually yep. yeah so now the fish we need to make some slits on the on the fish why is that so so that it will cook more evenly right and cook more easily so i'm doing something like this just cut it down like this, one, every about two, two fingers or so, cut one line, down like this, cut until you reach the bones. Now how do you choose a good fish? I think important thing is the eyes, huh? the eyes cannot look too cloudy, it must look bright. Okay, and when you buy it that time, right, when you touch it before they actually um, scale it off or, or descale the fish, it must, feel a, it must have a layer of protection on the fish. If it feels too dry, that means the fish has been there for quite some time already. So, Chef, usually where you buy your fish? I actually like to go to wet market, but today I actually got this from a supermarket because I'm rushing for time today. <laughs> <laughs> a bit easy, so, you yeah. took a shortcut today. Yeah, yeah. today I took a shortcut. Yeah, but, but, but these yeah. days, uh, supermarket do offer a very good choice yes. as well. Yeah. yeah, and they have a lot of uh, farm bread fish which actually tastes pretty good. I'm actually very surprised, oh, actually. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Because I myself, um, I used to fish a lot. All right. Oh. So, I really know the taste between the farm fish and the fresh fish. Oh. So, Last time when I um, um, tried a farm fish, I had a chance to try a farm fish, and to my surprise, they, they taste very good also. Oh, is that yeah, right? I think they have actually improved their technology to make uh, um, orders uh, much better, really, actually. Oh. The, the way they, 
they, they farm the fish yeah. or, or the way they, they rear the fish itself. Uh, okay, so so the seeds needs to be, well, quite a fair bit of seeds, yeah? Yep. Mm. The reason why I'm doing this, right, is because we really, this is a pretty big fish actually, very thick in, in the flesh, as you can see off yeah. from here, right? Mm -hmm. So I want to actually uh, make it cook much mm. better. So mm. it's something that I like to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, and it's nice because it has this very diamond shape itself. Mm, I see. Okay, be very careful when you do all this. So we do a, like a crisscross kind of cutting, yep. yeah? So oh, something like okay. this. Okay. Yes, continue like and share because uh, right now we have got a new question. Yep. And that's Oki. Premium sunflower oil has a clean taste and is naturally light in color. True or false? Yes. Answer the question and three lucky viewers will stand a chance to win our Oki Chinese New Hamper. That's worth Forty dollars. Yep. So you're gonna repeat what you go what you have done just yes. now. Yes. Yeah. So you're just going to do the same for here. Yes. You a uh, uh, question. Need to add ginger to the fish to remove the. I will show. Oh, you're yeah. very smart. Who's this lady? <laughs> Who is this? Uh, let me just see the. Your fans. Sure. You're very smart. Later, I'll show you how I do this. I mean, I'm going to marinate this. Oh. Yeah. Actually, ginger is uh, it's really a, a good ingredient to use like. Yep. Yeah. Can you see bass or not? Can, 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 can. can, can. Uh, most of the white flesh fish, right? You can use no problem at all. Yeah. yeah. White flesh, other than sea bass, what what else? Um, we have uh, pomfret also. We have grouper also. Oh, yeah. Grouper. Um, beam also. Yeah. Ah. So depending on what are the fish that you like. For me, I like to use snapper. Why? Because it's very little in bones, uh -huh. and they only have a big bone in the center and crisp up very nicely. Mm. Usually yep. we use snapper for fish and chip as well, right? Yeah, uh, fish and chip, yes. If you like the more cow tea version, uh, uh, cow then tea you version. go for the codfish. Yeah. Oh yeah, la, yeah, la, la. codfish. Yes. <laughs> okay, so I need to <laughs> marinate the fish now. Okay. After I've done all the crisscross cutting itself, three tablespoons of water, one teaspoon of salt. Can we use sliced fish to cook the dish? Can you can, you can definitely can. Any fish, no problem at all. Mm. But one teaspoon of salt. Two, two or three slices of ginger put it in two pieces of spring onion the stem only put it in now use your hand right squeeze out all the juice itself mix it up well so this is what we are doing over here we are using this to marinate the fish all right it, this will give the fish a very nice faint uh, kind of a uh, um, smell or taste uh, ginger what taste is it snapper in Chinese hong pan ah? Yes, Ang Kao, we call it. Ang Kao. Yeah. Uh, Hong Pan is a red grouper. A red grouper. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Hong Chao. Hong Chao. Yeah. Hong Chao. Yep. Hong Chao. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I'm not a very Ang Chao. Ang Chao. Ang Chao. Ang Chao. Ang Chao. So must ask Chef. All right. So so after you're done with this, just rub this all over the body like this. Okay. Rub it. Put it back in the water and rub it rub again it. from yeah. head to body. Yeah. Right to the crevices. massage, massage the yes. face. Yes. Yeah? So the fish is having like a having a spark. Yeah. Turn to the other side, yes. do the same. Wow. Do the same again. This step we we, we, we cannot skip this step, yeah. Try not to lah, because not to, to be very frank, after you deep fry this, right? It, when you eat it, right, you can actually have a very faint kind of um ginger aroma, which is which which is something I really like. Yeah. I think it's very unique, yeah. yeah. So try and do this and put all this inside the stomach here. We we'll just let this sit and marinate for about 5-10 minutes, okay? So let me just clear this thing off. So so actually uh, today what a uh, chef actually did is something that's very easy for everyone. A question from Irie. So how do we gauge the uh, steaming time? Oh, let's talk about steaming. steaming okay. Steaming. Um, now, normally for a fish this size, right, um, it depends on whether you butterfly the fish or you make cuts like this or you just steam a whole fish on its own. Um, okay, my mom, my mom, my parents taught me is that every time the fish eye pop out, that means it's done already. So they always told, tell me it's between 12 to 15 minutes. But that will all depend on the size of the fish, right? Um, the best thing to for, for me, Personally, I think, right, um, if I go for a fish like this, about um, 800 grams to a kilo itself, I'll be steaming this for approximately 12 to 13 minutes. All right, gauge the eye. The eye is actually a very good gauge. 
Of course, it cannot be like this, uh, so clear like this, then it's definitely not cooked. Mm. But when the whole thing pop out, it's overcooked. Mm. So it should, the, the as, what do you call it, this black color thing, the pupils? Or yeah, the pupil. The pupil, right? It should be quite in color already before popping out, then that's just bury. Mm. So most of the time, it's about 12, 13 minutes mm. for, for fish that's between the um, weight of 800 grams or so, mm. right? So this is something that we call. But for. Generally, generally, I will actually cut a few seeds uh, you on, have to, yeah. on the fish as well mm. uh, to actually speed up the, the steaming a little bit okay. because sometimes the, ex the external of the fish is actually done steaming, but the, the inside, the inner side of the fish is actually not done. Yeah. Right. Another way to do it, right, when you steam, right, use a porcelain spoon to prop up the fish underneath, prop the fish up. So that they will cook evenly, oh, right? You oh. can prop the fish up that's, with a that's spoon. A, that's a tip, right? Actually, that's, yeah. a, that's a really good tip. Correct. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, you yeah, need to yeah, prop yeah, it up, yeah. all right? Like a, with a ceramic spoon or not yeah, metal cera spoon. Yeah, ceramic spoon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm just using this because I have this in front of me. Yeah, so I think today, other than sharing the sweet and sour fish, mm. uh, Chef will share a little bit about steaming already. Yeah, yeah. that's great. Good, yeah? Okay, continue like and share and comment, uh, answering the question. Oki Premium Sunflower Oil has a clean taste and naturally light in colour. True or false? Question to Chef. Yes. How to check on fresh fish? Two things I always look uh, Three things I always look for. The eye, the eye uh, must be bright. All right? Something like this. Uh, very bright and not, not cloudy. Uh, when it's cloudy, stop buying the fish. Uh. It's, 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 <laughs> it's really not fresh already. Secondly, the gills part itself. It must be really, really... Uh, a very nice red color and you can see a little bit of slime on the on the gills that means it's fresh all right thirdly is on the fresh itself all right when you press on the fish itself but of course if you do this uh, most of the time the the, the fish monger will scold you but when they are not looking right you just press press a little bit right it, it should be firm it should be firm it should not uh, be depressed in when you press it in all right otherwise it will not be fresh wow mm. so what's the next step all right so time flies very fast, 10 minutes already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we can't be waiting for 10 minutes. So we pretend that the 10 minutes is yes. over. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now the next thing that we need to do is, of course, I need to wipe my hand dry. You don't have to pat this dry, okay? What we need is we need corn flour. Corn flour. Corn flour. Mm -hmm. Yes, corn flour. All right, we need to coat this with corn flour. Spread the corn flour on top. Is it because we are, Generously? We are frying it, that's why we need corn flour? Or how about some other flour? Um, you can use corn flour, you can use um, potato flour, they call it sun fern. Mm -hmm. You can eat either one of it. Mm. The reason why I'm using corn flour, right, is it's not that heavy. Mm. Uh, corn flour is a little bit on the light side itself, so that you can actually taste the freshness of the fish. Oh. But if you prefer a crispier texture, then do go for potato starch or potato flour. Yeah. Or they call it hong xia hun or sun fern. Huh? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, okay. Okay, so pat it down, pat it down, pat it down, pat it down. Pat it down, yeah. Yes, pat it down, right? Yes. Open it up a little bit. All the edges. Oh. Edges as well. Yeah, edges yes. as well. Yeah. Yep. Looks so we want nice. we want to fry the sweet and sour fish, or rather the fish itself to to the its its maximum Crispy, crispiness. Yes. So that actually where you know later on when you actually do the gravy, we can still actually feel the crunchiness. Correct, as well. yes. Yeah. So that's very important. So you even need to spread the corn flour in, in, mm, inside, in, inside yeah. as well. And also this, when you do this, right, and when it's cooked properly, right, you will not have too much of a splattering around. Mm. Yeah, and that makes your kitchen very easy mm. to clean. Mm. I see. Mm -hmm. uh, a question for myself, I mean, yes. I'm just a bit lazy. So if, I know that you, you have been using air fryer quite a fair bit as well. Mm. So can I actually... <laughs> <use it? laughs> okay, if it's a fillet of a fish, right, you, you can do so. Ah. But if the fish is a bit thick, um, you can do so also, but the texture might not be that good because the heat does not penetrate that fast inside mm. there. Yeah. And sometimes when you do um, oven roasting or, or even air frying, right, you might um, take out too much moisture for the fish. Oh, I see. Right? Because for this fish, you want the outside to be very crispy and the inside mm. to be juicy also, mm. right? So deep frying will be the best way to go. But of course, like what I say, right, nothing is forever the same, right? You can always um, do what you think is right. And of course, air frying is definitely a possible way to do it. But don't worry, even you actually did fry today, we are using our very good and healthy yes. choice of our Oki Premium Sunflower Oil. Excellent cooking oil for even daily cooking or even deep frying as well. Yes. So I think, uh, well, other than the chore of actually uh, deep frying, you are using the correct selection of oil. Mm. It's very important. And especially right now, the, using this healthier choice oil, 
do not be afraid of the frying. It's just that the mopping uh, takes a little bit of the time. Yes. Yeah, Always ask your husband to do the mopping. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> okay, now the important thing is after you have cooked this, right, you need to let it rest for a while. We call it Huizhao, oh. return of the tide. Oh. So that the flour will stick onto the fish and it will not drop off when you fry it. It will oh, remain see. more crispy, right? Oh. A lot of times when you, um, sometimes my viewers say, oh, I fry the, um, I use the recipe to fry my wings, but the crust all falls off. There's a few aspects to this. Uh, one is the oil is not hot enough. Mm. Secondly is you do not wait for the flour to stick onto the, the skin of the chicken or the fish itself. Mm -hmm. And thirdly, of course, um, is you stir it way too fast. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah. So, uh, Candice asks, what's the heat temperature needed to fry a fish? Normally, I'll use medium heat. Uh, I'll show you how it looks like. Um, I'm the traditional type. So, normally, I'll gauge the heat by either my hand on top of the oil or I use a bamboo chopstick or skewers. Mm -hmm. So, once you see, um, if you, when, once the oil is heated up, right, you put in your bamboo skewer or your bamboo chopstick, right, you'll see starting little bubbles coming up. There's about 30%, 40% kind of a drill too. So when you see the bubble starts to rapidly go up, it's about 70% um, percent heated up the oil. And that's the best part to put the fish in, right? Um, and from there, we need to control the oil. Now, when the oil is not hot enough, you put the fish in, right? Every time you put food in into a hot oil, right, the temperature will decrease. So we need to gauge at what kind of temperature we need to put the food in so that it will remain as, at its prime. The food will not um, be too soft or too soggy and things like that. Okay, let me just wash my hand. I so think. these are actually yep. real tips from Chef Roland. Uh, because of course, today you have uh, watched our live streaming. You know that right now, these days, not just about the fish, even for frying chicken wings, just have to, when you actually put the flour on top of it, just need a little bit of timing mm. to set the flour in together with the food. Yeah. Uh, actually, this, this tip I, I didn't know until today. So I, I realized it. Lah. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes we get a little bit, uh, you know, we wanted everything fast, but you still need some time for certain things to settle down, uh, especially for for such items, yes. Yeah, continue to like and share and comment because right now we have got a new question which is Oki Premium Sunflower Oil has a clean taste. All right, and it's naturally light in color. True or false? Uh, show our hamper again, yeah? Because why? We are giving away three lucky uh, winners this evening. Uh, if you like and share, of course, stand a chance to win, look at the hamper. It's our proudly sponsored by Oki, and that's worth forty dollars. Our Chinese New Year hamper. Wow, this one mm. you bring back home and only buy already for wow. a few months. And, and and if you win this, right, I think you have a very good um um yu, yu zhao for the whole year, right? Go you sui, right? Go you uh, sui. Go you sui. <laughs> <laughs> very <happy> to me. <laughs> okay, so um using our star oil. Correct. We'll be using the Oki Premium uh, sunflower oil for this. Heat up your pan, all right? Open this up, of course. A little Chef actually used, uh, today he actually used two different kinds of oil. So just now he actually used mm. one, uh, which is our oil, our Oki blended cooking oil. And right now he's actually using our Oki premium sunflower. Yes. Um, and of course, he also actually want to show you that actually, although this is actually a premium sunflower oil, it can use for deep frying as well. Yes. Mm. Now, if you were to notice, right, my, my work itself, I did not put too much of oil inside there, but I must make sure that I have enough oil inside there so that I can at least deep fry on one side. We call this shallow frying, okay? Um, oil is very much needed for this dish, for deep frying itself, because we want this to be really crispy. And this is actually a, a must-do. Mm, yeah, mm, must-do. Mm. That's right. So when we actually open the fire, uh, mm. before we put the fish in, the, the fire has to be right, big. Um, okay, I'm using medium heat right now. Okay, and all depends on your work. Huh? If you're using those tra um, traditional iron work or stainless steel one, you can turn the heat up to medium or medium high, no problem itself. Um, I'm using a non-stick work over here. Mm. So for non-stick work, I will never turn the heat up to high. Mm. Why? Because it will spoil the coating. Oh. So medium or medium, medium high is the max I will go. It's mm. the max that I will go. Okay, okay. Mm. So again, of course, it depends on what sort of work that you use at home. Mm. Yeah. Uh, even testing out the oil temperature, I think that's actually a very important step uh, because once the oil is not really heated and you put a fish in, you actually spoil the whole thing. Yes. Uh. So that's a very important step uh, not to be missed. Yes, once again, if you have not liked and shared and comment, do remember or just actually join us here at our Share Food live streaming together with Oki and Spice and Pans. 
do like and share and comment because today we are giving away three lucky participants our Oki Chinese New Hamper that's worth $40. All right. Okay, so the fish is about to go into yes, the, oil. the swimming pool. Yes, the oil is uh, heated up already. So we'll just put both hands up, one on the head, one on the tail, put it in and just let it rest. Let it rest. Don't, don't move it around. All right, we'll let this fry for about three minutes. Then we'll check whether it's... Um, like brown enough or like whether it's crispy enough or like so at least for about mm. three minutes i think it's also very important don't get too excited to actually go and disturb your fish let it actually submerge in the oil for a little while mm. yes and later on if you actually want to know oh i've got a question uh oh people are very curious yes. uh, to know what we're giving away as the hamper is that right yeah it's 40 dollars worth of hamper and inside, okay, the camera, mm, shoot it on our hamper. Yes, uh, there are actually three bottles of oil, yeah. And of course, it comes with a few uh, packets of uh, this uh, batter powder that is actually used for, can be used for frying, I think, yeah. Uh, you have got salted egg powder, I saw, only salted egg, uh, the rest of the words I can't really see. But uh, don't worry, okay, uh, these are all in all worth $40, yeah. So I would say that it's actually a very good price today because we are not just we are not just giving one, we are giving away three. And just now we have actually announced our first question, and right now it's our second question. For those of you who just come in our live streaming show, the question is: Oki Premium Sunflower Oil has a clean taste and is naturally light in color. True or false? Okay, answer the question and comment in our comment box. And who knows, you'll work away with. This is very nice Chinese new hamper sponsored by OK. Yes. So it's the fish. Uh, I think it's three minutes now. No. Nope. <laughs> Not yet. Any tips to prevent fish from crumbling when frying? Are you turning your miss? miss? <laughs> don't, don't move the fish around. Let, let the skin settle. Let the cross settle before you move them around. If you move the fish around too much or um, um, seafood that's very delicate, that's uh, move around too much, the, the skin will tear off, the meat will fall off. All right. Um, I'll show you how to actually know whether the cross is done already or not. Mm. So very simple, just uh, using your spatula, just move around a little bit like this. Right? If it moves easily, that means the basically the cross is already formed. Now we just need to turn this over to the other side. I don't think it's brown enough, but let's turn it to the other side. Now for this, especially a big fish like this, where I do shallow frying, right, I like to use two spatula. How do I turn this? Turn the fish away from you because you don't want the oil to spatter in. Yeah, in case you drop the fish, right? So just do this. So for safety purpose, Jeff mentioned turn the yeah. ship away, turn the ship away from you the other direction. Yeah, like this. Yeah, and use two spatula. Yeah. So you can have gone a little bit browner. Yeah. Mm. So another and at least another three minutes. Yes. Another three minutes, and I'll turn it to the other side for maybe one or two minutes more, and then mm. it's more like that's done. Now, mm. there's no hard rules to this. Once the fish is cooked, right, you can actually serve, serve it with the sauce after you made the sauce. Or if you like to have it crispier, you can do a double fry. Double or fry the, the fish? Yes, so they will be super crispy. But when it's crispier, you'll lose much of the juice. So it depends on how oh, you yeah. like the fish. Yes, yeah. they'll be drier. Yeah, oh, right. yeah. okay, okay. Mm. So again, it depends on your preference. So why yeah. do people rub salt to the fish before frying? To prevent the fish skin from sticking onto the pan. All right. Um, nowadays, uh, we are very lucky that uh, we have all this um, um, non-stick kind of pen. Mm. In the olden days, uh, my mom, they, uh, they only have one big iron work which they use for everything. Mm. All right? And for those is when you fry a fish, uh, you have to use a lot of oil. Yes. If not, it will stick. Now, yes. there's two ways to prevent oil, I mean, fish skin from sticking onto the, the, the pen itself. The, the first and most important thing to do when you want to use an iron wok, right, is to make sure it's really hot. Add in oil, then put the fish in. Mm. All right. If the wok is not hot enough, I didn't wok and stainless steel the same. Huh? The skin will stick onto the pan. Oh, this see. one thing. Second thing is, of course, to smear salt onto the skin. That will become a barrier between the, the iron wok and the skin. Mm. All right. This one thing. Another way to do it is brush a light layer of egg onto it. Oh, is that right? Yes. Oh, brush the egg. Yes, and it will actually also create a barrier between the pan and the fish. Oh, yep. okay. So that depends on whether you were hard working or not. Ah, yes. Ah. Hong Lim asks, should we cover the pan while frying to prevent uh, the oil? No, no, no. Don't do that. Ah. Once you cover the pan, there's a lot of moisture what? that will be out. Ah. Then the moisture will drop back into the oil. Then you <laughs> 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 
this is still okay because we have put flour onto it already. I do understand that, I mean, deep frying will, you'll need to clean up and things like that. But once a year for your family, I think it's okay. Lah, huh? yeah. Okay. Huh? Anyway, you cook one dish, also need to mop. You cook two dish, also need to mop. Lah. So, yeah, you have to mop <laughs> like, at the end of the day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, talking a little bit more about the uh, Oki Premium Sunflower Oil. As you mentioned just now, it's actually excellent uh, cooking oil for mm. daily cooking. Yeah, and uh, due to its clean color and naturally light in color, you can even use it as a salad oil dressing, just now yes. we mentioned about it. And when it comes to pan smearing, uh, searing seafood, it's important to use oil that's clean taste and high in smoke point. And right. because we want the guests to actually uh, eat the freshness of your yes. seafood, yeah, without tasting greasy, you yeah. know, and, and even bitter. All right, of course, again, this sunflower oil has lower in, it's low in saturated fat and natural, naturally cholesterol free as well, yeah? Yep. Excellent. So now we turn the fish again to the other side. Yep. One, two minutes and we'll be done. So continue to like and share today because mm. today we are with Oki as well with uh, Chef Roland from Spice and Pants. If you like him, yes, he's actually no stranger to a lot of people. He has been sharing a lot of uh, good and healthy tips, short, a lot of shortcut to busy, you know, working uh, people like myself. Yep. Yeah, to do a lot of shortcut in, in, in cooking and of course delivering nice and healthy food to our family. Yeah. yeah? So right now, if you just join us, do remember to like and share mm. uh, because today we are giving away the hamper that's worth $40. What's the question again today, Chef? One of the question is, um, is this oil healthy oil? The oil, uh, yes. this is the OK Premium Sunflower Oil has a clean taste and natural light in yes. color. True or, or false? false? Yes. This yeah. is the one again. Yes, this yes. is the oil. Yep, yeah. sunflower oil. So just now, Chef has actually used the oil, uh, the Oki blended cooking oil, uh, which is slightly different from this. Uh, the other oil that he used, the color is a bit darker. This one, the color is, is actually lighter. Yep. Uh, if you ask me, or rather you ask Chef to choose, let's say you don't really cook that often, which oil to really buy yes. at home? Which, which Go oil? Go for the would... sunflower one. Go for the yeah. sunflower one, okay? Right. Mm. Because if you don't put that often, then you want the oil that you can have multiple usage versatile, of purpose. Yes, yeah, versatile. Right, yeah. yeah, go for the sunflower mm. oil. Oh. This is almost done. Right, if the heat is nice, you can actually see the skin, right? It's crisp up already and it's not oily on the, on the skin itself. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. This is almost done. Let's just remove this from the oil. Actually, Chef, like what Chef mentioned, he didn't really use a lot of oil No, today. shadow frying. Yeah. Uh, Chef, I've got questions. Uh. Yes. So if, let's say, after you have dished out the fish, right, the leftover oil, what do you do with it? Um, okay, normally for good oil like Oki, right, um, I don't throw them away straight away. I'll reuse the oil for another one or two times. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. All right, okay. and there's, there's some question by sometimes our viewer, they'll ask, uh, after I fry fish already, or I did fry fish, uh, wouldn't the oil be fishy? Mm. Now, the tips to do this are, the next time we want to reuse this oil before you fry your protein, mm. drop in two or three pieces of ginger. It will take off the taste immediately. Oh, I yes. see, I see, I see. So this is the tip. Huh? Okay, uh, the question is, the inside of the fish has uh, flour mm, yes. too. Don't need deep fry the inside. Will the inside be crispy? Don't need deep fry the inside. Because just now you saw you, saw you patting yes. the, the yeah. coating inside. Um, okay, what we want is actually for the outer skin, the outer crust to, to form. Mm. So the, the inside the stomach itself, right, the skin of the stomach will be formed. So now there's two things why I want to do it. Huh? One is of course to crisp up the, the fish. Second is to protect the protein from losing too much of a moisture. Mm. All right, so it's still done very juicy. Oh. Okay, so this is done. The fish is done. Yes, you remove the fish from the pan first. Everyone, continue to like and share and comment. Okay, premium sunflower oil has a clean taste and is naturally light in color. True or false? Mm. Wow, look at the color. Camera, camera. Yeah. Can the camera, yeah, I took a little bit, oh, yeah, it's a golden color, light golden color, yeah, I think this color is good, I, I think we shouldn't go no, even darker, yeah. yeah, if you go too dark, that means it's too dry already, you'll be eating like fish jerky perhaps, fish jerky, <laughs> fish jerky yeah. <laughs> oh, we have another question here, oh, is it suitable to use oki canola oil for frying, yes you can, yes you can, no problem at all, 
But uh, as we mentioned, if you want something that is an all-rounder oil, we actually recommend you to actually buy this premium sunflower oil. Yes. Okay, so now we are uh, going to prepare the sauce. Yes. Yeah. Shift this. Okay, shift this a little bit. Yep. So let me see now here. Let me get some water. Uh, today, if you like our recipe, don't worry. Uh, because Chef yeah. Roland is, 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 is going to give the recipe away. Yep. Uh, later on, at the end of the show, there will be a recipe link for you to actually uh, download it. I think there will be a link for you to download it. Yeah, so not to worry. But of course, at the same time, uh, our video will actually remain in our Facebook or whichever channels. Yeah, And uh, you can actually uh, take a, a look back as well. Okay, so if you've got questions, yes, you can always post at our comment box over here. And do continue to like and share and comment because today we are giving away three lucky viewers to work away with our Oki Chinese New Year hamper that's worth $40. Thanks. So it's just now Chef mentioned because Oki oil is actually premium oil. So you can use extra another one or two times. Yeah. Yep. So maybe after the fish, you want to cook, uh, say, a uh, uh, Stir fry vegetable? Yeah, you can. Yeah. You, can, uh, you, can. you can just put a little bit of yeah, ginger. Yeah, just put a little bit of ginger, ginger? In. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so now we'll prepare the sauce. Um, put in about a, a thumb size of um, ginger mince. Mince up. Must the ginger be minced up this way? Um, I would prefer it this way because I, I like to have a little bite on ginger now and then. If it's too big a piece, sometimes it's too strong. Too, oh, too strong oh, the flavor. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. So it means it like a somehow yeah, it looks a little bit like a garlic. garlic. Yes. So now we put in our garlic. About two or three cloves of garlic chopped. So you see today, tonight, or rather tonight, you actually have already two dishes on hand mm. with you to cook for the family for a reunion dinner. Yeah. And yeah, the, the, the sadness was that right now reunion dinner you can only have uh can only dine in like in, in, in groups of five, you're actually dining out. Uh, if not, you probably need to only receive uh, a guest of five to your house as well, yeah? So it's going to be a very intimate uh, Chinese New Year celebration yes. this year, again. But same thing, spread the love. I mean, what I plan to do, right, is maybe I'll cook some of my nasu hao cai, right? And then just go over to my brother's place, wish them a happy New Year, stand outside the door and pass them the food. Wow, right, that's so very heartwarming. This, this is what I'm thinking of doing. Huh? You're thinking what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> because of the restriction. Uh, like, yes, that's oh. right, yeah. I, I think I think uh well you can actually follow what uh chef has actually mm. recommended if you you have got a very big family yeah that's yeah right. you might want to do that yeah okay so once you can smell the fragrance coming out from the garlic as well as the ginger we'll add in our tomato ketchup yeah. now you might ask whether I can use tomato paste or not you can no problem but for tomato paste you need to fry it a little bit longer because it's raw right and ketchup is actually cooked huh? so no problem huh? ketchup is actually very easy to work with. This is about eight tablespoon of uh, ketchup. Just mix it up. So I think the versatility of this dish was that once you actually did fry the fish already, mm. whichever sauce that you are using is really up to your choice. But it's yes. because today we are doing sweet and sour, and that's why today uh, it's a sweet and sour sauce. But of yes. course, you can always replace it with uh, other sauce as well. Yes, mm? you can do your uh, black pepper sauce, your chili sauce. No worries. The frying of the fish is the same. Right, just be creative. Whatever you like, just do it. Yeah. yeah. So if you are a housewife, you are thinking, you know, you know, mm. I can't be cooking sweet and sour fish every day, right? Correct. So, yeah. tomorrow I do black pepper fish. Okay. But the fish is the same. <laughs> now we add in sugar. It might seem a lot, huh? but to be very frank, this dish is supposed sugar. to be sweet and sour. So that's about two and a half tablespoon of sugar. Chef, there's a question for you. Mm. How, how long can you keep the used oil for the next cooking? Oh, good question. Now, normally, I'll keep it like not more than maybe five or, or a week like at max. Yeah, mm. not, not more than that. Yeah, not more than that. But I cook almost every day. So, so <laughs> that's a wrong question for me <laughs> because he cooks every day. Yeah, because especially right now, right, we are working from home. Yeah. Right, last time I used to cook like once a week on weekends only. But now work from home, I use, I mean, I'll try to cook at home. I mean, I, I still like my own cooking. Yes. Not being how it might. Yeah. Really like <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, of course, in terms of uh, from the health perspective, mm. 
I don't think it's recommended to put cooking oil that you use cooking oil correct, for correct. a very yeah. long time. Yeah, and when you want to reuse it, right? Only you reuse it one plus one or one plus two at max. Yeah. When it starts to turn dark in color or when it starts to smell funky, yeah, don't already. Yeah. Now we add in our tomatoes. One tomato cut up. Just put them in, and I will add in also about eighty grams of uh, pineapple because I want my sauce to have this uh, nice fruity kind of a taste in it. Just let it cook down a little bit. So the pineapple, either I can use a fresh pineapple mm. or if I'm a little bit lazy, la, I can. buy the canned one. You can also, but canned one will be a little bit sweet. So control oh, the, on the sweetness itself. Okay, okay. Yep. Today you're using a fresh one. Correct, yes. Oh, we can also do, actually, I've seen dishes like the lychee sweet and sour. You can. Yeah. yeah. So normally, if you want to do a pure pineapple or pure lychee one, right? Forget about the sugar. Forget about the sugar. Pour the syrup in. Mm. Use syrup to replace to it. replace the sugar as well as the water. All right. Now add in a little bit of uh, salt. Well, I can smell it already. Yep. Uh. You add vinegar. Now, how sour you want this to be? How tangy you want this to be? All depend on yourself. Two and a half tablespoon is what I use over here. So, it's chef, if, more, yeah. is there anything that I want to? If I don't, I don't have white vinegar. Is there okay, anything to you can use apple cider or even lemon juice. Lemon juice. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the most economical one is vinegar, Oh, I yeah. see. And I think, you, I mean, we have all heard people say, right? Um, um, Charlie, what we must have? Thai mi yu yu yan jiang chu cha. Yeah, wow. yeah, richer than me, so plus another two. But the five minimum is there. So these are most of the basics that we we have. And I will um like to maybe also have this tradition passed down that every home for Chinese New Year you have something like that because yeah. it will keep you being more and more prosperous because these are the basic needs in our olden, I mean, our ancestors' time, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, true, so true, true, true. To true, carry true. on with this tradition, I think it's very good. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Okay, let's just give this a taste to make sure that's tangy enough for us. It's sweet enough for us. Again, I didn't see you uh, putting Ooh. a lot of uh, the corn flour. Or Heaven. Heaven. Not uh, oh, not yet. Yep, no not wonder yet. it looks a bit of. Yep. Uh, there's still a bit of wetness. Yes. Yeah. So now we'll add in our cucumber. You can add it in earlier if you want it to be a little bit more softer, right? But I prefer to have a little bit bite. We'll just put it in, and now I just taken up the cornstarch solution. Actually, uh, I noticed if the pineapple and the tomato is not there, right? Mm. Mm, the taste of this, the sauce actually tastes different. Very plain. Very yeah, plain. Yeah. 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 I also feel that because sometimes yeah. I'm a bit lazy, then I just do the sauce and I didn't put pineapple. <laughs> 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 and I realized that, eh, like, miss one thing. Yeah, but the thing is that if you don't have a uh, pineapple at home, right, you can also add in like uh, this uh, swan mei zi. Uh. Plum, oh, so plum paste, yeah. Oh. It will give this a very nice fruity flavor. Because also. for children, not all kids like pineapple. Yeah, right here. Yeah. yeah. Now, I prefer my dish to be a little bit on the tangy side itself, but of course, you want it, if you prefer it to be a little bit sweeter, just add in a little bit more um, sugar. This all depends on personal preferences. Preference. Yeah. Uh, the beauty about Chinese uh, cooking, you know, was that uh, you really can be quite creative. Yeah. yeah. There's no hard and fast rules. On the taste True. because that's your own preference yep. yeah and for this sauce itself i uh, try not to make this too thin uh, because we want our fish to be crispy also so it has to be a little bit thicker than the normal sauce yep. wow so after knowing these two dishes well this upcoming chinese new year everyone can be a little bit lazy already yeah <laughs> don't even need to really tapau also because yep. frankly speaking la, you tapau so not so nice. True. Uh. Yeah. I mean, it's it's simple, but it's very delicious. Yep. Okay. So yeah, right pour now, the sauce over here. Yeah. Let me just clear the area here. Wow. We are actually um how how much time we spend in cooking? Mm, actually, not too long hour, as well. Right? Yeah. yeah. So all this depending right on um I mean for me of course I'm used to cooking so it might take me uh and I prepare all this dish beforehand mm. so it's definitely earlier and faster. Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, just now I mentioned about actually the third questions. Mm. Uh, I think we are going to prepare the third question very soon. Yeah. And the third question is: Oki Premium Sunflower Oil has a clean taste and is naturally light in color. True or false? 
Oh, wait, wait for the rolling credits. Yeah, okay. We shall wait for the rolling credits. The questions will be there. Again, like and share and comment. Does Oki blended oil have a high or low smoking point? Yeah? Does Oki blended oil have a high or low smoking point? Yes or no? Yeah? So while the chef is actually uh, putting out the sauce. Wow. Marvelous. Yeah, looks good, right? Yeah. You can top it up with spring onions if you, you want can, to. You can, yes. Yeah? To add on the colors? Yes, yes, you can. You can add in, if you like it a little bit spicier, you can add in also one or two uh, pieces of uh, chili, chili inside here. Yeah, well. yeah. No yeah. problem, yeah. Wow. This one you go to one zicha store. <laughs> <laughs> the zicha store, I think most of the time when they do this dish, right? Um, fish. Yeah, they use sliced fish mm. or what they do is that they will use um, sea bass. La. Normally, yeah. they don't go for snapper because snapper is a little bit more expensive, more expensive. compared to yeah. sea bass. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sea bass, um, something around this size, 800 grams or so, will cost about $8. But for this, this is about 22 or so. Mm, yeah. Okay. Continue like and share and comment. Does Oki blended oil have a high or low smoking point? Yeah, the answer is very obvious. Just now we mentioned about yes. it. Why Oki premium sunflower oil is all rounder? Why? Yeah. Uh, because it has one feature that's actually similar with the Oki blended cooking oil because Oki, blend, Oki blended cooking oil has a very high smoking point as well, yeah. Do stay tuned with us because later on we'll be announcing the three lucky uh, viewers for the lucky draw. And if you're wondering what the price is, you just join us. We are giving away the Oki hamper that is worth Forty dollars and three sets will be given away. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Dish is done. So actually, the last action is just pouring uh, the, yes, sauce the sauce over. over. You don't even need to bring back the fish no. into the sauce. Now, why do I not bring the fish back into the sauce and cook it over here? Right, then that'll be like bracing already. Oh, I see. Right? Um, same thing with sweet and sour pork or sweet and sour chicken itself. We want the crispiness to be there when you cook the. Um, deep fried um, protein into the sauce itself, right? It will be like stewing and bracing mm. it. And then it will eat into the crust and then it will not be crispy anymore. Mm. So most of the time when I even do, when I do my sweet and sour pork, right? After I've done the sauce, I'll turn off the flame. And then I'll just put my pork in and just, just coat it. And then it will be super crispy and super nice. Oh. So this is something that I'm doing. Wow. Yes. So, so this is our sweet and sour fish. Wow, marvellous. I can't wait to taste it, man. Wow. Uh, yes. Beautiful, right? Yeah. <laughs> two amazing. This is really a two two amazing uh Chinese New Year dishes. Yeah. So so we're ready for food tasting right now. Is that right? We can definitely yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm <laughs> the <ask> first. <laughs> I think they want to take picture, right? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we we can do a, a simple food tasting. Uh, chef, we can do a simple food tasting yeah, at yeah, least yeah. to show our participants mm. uh the mm. maybe the the texture inside. Sure. Mm. Let me just uh. Give the table a little bit. Give you a plate. Yes, does Oki blended oil have a high is have a high and low melt uh, smoking point? Yeah. Yes, we know will be announced at the end of this live streaming show. And once again, today's live streaming is brought to you by Oki, as well as Chef Wood, as well as Spence and Pens. This is still warm, so this should be still good. Mm. Let me see which one is this. So Chinese yeah. New Year, okay. So Gao Tim already la, two dishes for Chinese New Year. Hello. Yeah. Pen Thai. Mm. Okay. And the Nian Nian Yu Yu. Yeah. Please go ahead. So we are going to, going to go, go ahead with the food tasting. Uh. Wonder. Uh, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, those online can't join us. <laughs> yeah. But don't worry. Yes. Now the recipe will be shared with you later on. Yeah. yeah. And, and you guys know, right, I mean, from um, this just uh, past one hour or so, 
um, I've done these two dishes and it's really simple and easy, mm. right? I, I think anyone um, can, can master and cook this dish. Um, the, the thing to remember is always use fresh ingredients, good oil. We want our food to be healthy, right? That's, that's very important. Chef, you want to go ahead? You go ahead. Let me, let me, let me, <laughs> let me just take it out for you. We have to show our viewers the texture of the fish as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you can try this first, but I can for you the, the other one. So, so as you can see, the maybe you should just close up of the, the fish is thoroughly cooked already. Yeah. And now I'm going to actually uh, taste the a fish. Oh. Is it okay? Nice, nice, nice. I love oriental food, so yeah. this kind of dishes will suit me very well. Really nice. I think it's very appetizing because it's, it's sweet and sour and it goes very well with rice and yeah. this will help kids actually eat a lot. Yeah. I've just taken some sea cucumber, um, apple wow. and the, wow. the, uh, just, 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 just for me, yeah. wow. <laughs> this is really good now. The fish is really uh, very fresh. Yep. Actually, it's, you, you, if you didn't tell me, it's actually from um, supermarket. Mm. Actually, no difference. Lah. Yep. I feel no difference. And I can still actually uh, taste the crunchiness of the skin as well. Yep. Yeah. I mean, like what I say, if you want it to be crunchier, right, you can use um, potato flour, which is sun fen, mm. or they call it uh, hong xia hun, hong fen, right? I like mine to have just a slight crispiness, but still very tender in the inside. Yeah. <laughs> So, so the this you, you take a look at. I think the vegetable, of course, uh, depends on the preference. Like pen thai, once we cook it longer, the vegetable will be softer. Yeah. yeah. So it really depends mm. on good. Uh, if yeah. I might say so myself. Mm. But I cannot be howling. So uh, this is okay. This are okay. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh, it's really really very good. So today. If you want to actually master mm. this two dish, just now you have seen it, yeah. Uh, the recipe link is is all out there, yeah. Mm. And of course, we have already um, tasted the food as well. Yes. And the time right now is at. Yeah, we're going to end our show very very soon. Of course, we're going to actually announce the the three winners as well, yeah. yeah? So uh, before we do that, any parting statement from from Chef Roland? Um, I hope I hope that y'all will um, replicate this dish at home. If you have any question, feel free to message us. Um, Spice and Pears is always there for you. Um, of course, like what I say, always emphasize on is healthier option. Oki oil is actually a very good option for your daily use oil. And of course, fresh ingredients are also very important. Um, do share the joy um, with your friends. Um, cook for them. Let them enjoy your food. Let them know that you learn from Spice and Pears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if you have got... Any more questions for the last five minutes? Chef is still with me. Yep. You can still actually comment at the comment box before yes. we announce the lucky yeah. winner. So the result is there. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you so much. This three person. Oh, okay. So before I announce, okay, this three person later on, the names will be read out. Do remember to DM Chef Food on uh, Facebook within three working days yeah, to collect your prize. Okay, remember three within three working days. Hmm. Chef, you want to read out the first name? All right. The first name is uh, Lizette. Lizette, is it? Yeah, Lizette, Lizette Haramia. Haramia? Lizette, yeah, Lizette Haramia. Haramia. Thank you. Yeah. Congrats. If you are online, yeah, say hello to us. Congratulations. Yeah. Yes. Lizette. Give us a win. Lizette. Who else? Second winner, a gentleman by the name of uh, Mr. Norman Cook. Yeah, yeah, Norman, yeah. congratulations. Norman, Norman. Norman bye congratulations. Bye. Last but not least. You'd like to do the honors? All right, ladies and gentlemen, the last viewer who walked away with the uh, Chinese New Year hamper, proudly sponsored by Oki, that's worth $40, is none other than May To. Wow, congratulations. Yeah, congrats, congrats. Yeah. As I mentioned, do remember to uh, DM uh, share food Facebook within three days. Okay, last but not least, uh, we really hope that you enjoy the cooking demonstration mm. this evening. And uh, our parting statements will be Chinese New Year is really upcoming. So, myself, Lindy, representing share food, and Roland representing Spice and Pants, would like to wish everybody Hu Nian Xin Da Yun, Gong Xi Fa Tai, Hao Yun Lian Lian, Hao Yun Chang Chang. 
Nian Nian Yu Yu. Yes. Wu Sheng Wei. Exactly. Yep. And do remember to cook your pen tai and, and the fish. And the fish. Right. All right. Um, and, and I heard one, one, um, one, one thing about Lindy over here. I heard that Lindy is actually a very good singer also. <laughs> so maybe just to make our viewers happy, you oh. like to part with a song. Part, part with a song. Uh, Sorry to ambush you like this. Uh. Well, really ambush me. Uh, 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 then we just sing one sentence. Uh, uh, Bye bye. We see you again, maybe after Chinese New Year already. Yeah. yeah. All right. Bye bye. Once again, we'd like to thank Oki, Chef Food, and Spice and Pens. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs>